We're here at the Edmo delle Carceri, the place of retreat of Francis of Assisi in the early 13th century, when he and his followers would come up for periods of 40 days of prayer and meditation, sleeping in caves. The monastery, which we're going to see, was built in the mid 15th century by a great Franciscan follower of Francis, Bernard of Siena. Welcoming us is this statue, which was put up in September in 2003. The sculptor is Sandro da Verso, and this is called Francis the Saint of Universal Love. And you can see symbols of Judaism, Islam, Hinduism, Buddhism. This is a beautiful image of Francis as the saint who welcomes the union of all religions. Now we're into the woods. We're at the entry to the Hermitage. And down here is the monastery built under Bernard of Siena, early 15th century, over the place where Francis and his followers came to meditate and slept in caves. And down we go. A lot of visitors today, including groups of scouts and so forth. We're at a very peaceful place on Mount Subasio. 1,200 meters above sea level, we're over 800 meters now in groves and groves of live oaks. Andiamo. In here are the Clarisse Francescane Missionarie del Santissimo Sacramento. In here live the poor Claire's Franciscan sisters, and they actually take care of all the hermitage now. At the time of Francis of Assisi, there was the rule of the Hermitage. And the friars were up here for 40 days, and for 10 days you were the madri. You went down to the town, you begged for food, you washed the tunics of your brothers. For 10 days you were the sons, and you were just taken care of and prayed and meditated. So at the time of Francis, the friars took care of each other. Now it's women taking care of the friars. <laughs> We're inside the area of the Hermitage. Magnificent flowers today. We look up and we can see the porticos here over the area where the friars are living now. There's a limited group of friars here. I believe 10, but I'll check. And this is the symbol of Bernard of Siena, IHS, Jesus Homium Salvatorum, 15th century Franciscan from Siena who established the Hermitage. Hello. Buongiorno, venga, padre. Buongiorno, buongiorno. And we have a Francescano here. So we Hello. will say to the Francescano, pace yes. bene. Pace bene. Grazie. <laughs> Possiamo entrare? Certo, prego. Grazie. You are welcome. So we can go in and see the refectory <laughs> and how wonderful to be welcomed by a Franciscan. So let's go in and see the place where the friars ate in the mid 15th century under Bernard of Siena. This is the refectory, and this is where Bernard of Siena sat. There's a cross at the place. Can you see the cross? And he was the head of the group here. He would have been called Padre Guardiano, the father caretaker. He would have been at the head of the table and the first up to serve his brothers. The frescoes are after the 15th century. We have Francis here, and here another fresco of all at table. So we're inside the refectorio, or the refectory, and you can see the massive round arches here. This is the cross of Bernard of Siena, mid 15th century. And we're in this grotto Look at the magnificent stonework here. And up at the top of the steps are the different cells of the 15th century in which the friars slept. The doorway entrances are very uh, close to the ground because the Franciscans wanted one going into the cell to have to bow their head in a sign of insignificance and humility. So the apertures are uh, short, low to the ground. Well, here we have a fresco of Giovanni of Coruccio from Molino, and we notice Francis on the foot of the cross, and the Virgin in both.
evoking the figures, probably frescoed here, which are gone, is if she's saying, look at my son and how he suffered. What's very interesting is this fresco on the front of the altar, and this is an image that we call Monte della Pietà. This is the symbol of the pawn shop, and the first pawn shop ever built was in Perugia, and I believe 15th century, and it was of the Franciscans who lent money to the poor without the huge interest rates were often to often charge on loans. So this is the symbol of the Monte della Pietà, the pawn shop. Back here, we have a beautiful stained glass window. This is a gift from France. This is stained glass of the 13th century. And we continue on in to another area of the Hermitage. And this is a beautiful fresco by an artist called Tiberio of Assisi. And if you look at it, what's very interesting is it's superimposed over another fresco. And this would have been a crucifixion, Christ, the deposition Christ taken down from the cross and in the arms of his mother in the Magdalene tomb. You can see these images here. So this is one fresco over another, a sacred place of prayer for the Franciscans. Is there Coro? And you can go up the steps and you can see the place where they gathered for the recitation of prayer and for song, the Coro. We're on our way down to the grotto where Francis slept when he was here. At the time he was here, they were just sleeping in caves, but this is the monastery built under Bernard of Siena, 15th century. And this is a later part of the monastery, the sacristy, where the priest's vestments were kept. And you'll want to look up and see the beautiful ceiling of unusually lovely tiles. So this is the la sacristy of the sacristy. We're going down to the grotto where Francis slept, and over the stairs is the Ecce Homo of the end of the 15th century. Behold the man. When Christ, as he was scourged at the pillar, was offered vinegar to taste, and you can see the sword here, one of the soldiers peeping out. And this is Christ before his crucifixion. Behold the man. And on we go into the grotto of Francis. This is the grotto where Francis rested, Giacilio di San Francesco, the resting place. And it said that his head was always here, and there's always flowers over the place. So this was Francis's resting place on the cold ground during the 40 days that he was up here for prayer and meditation. And next to the little Giacilli, or the resting place of Francis, is the ambience called his oratorio, oratorio, place of prayer. And it said, according to the legend, that he sat right here where I'm sitting while he was in this little oratorio in prayer. He would come out of the Hermitage now left behind the Grotto of Francis. And now we're in the woods surrounding the Hermitage. And we can take a brief walk in the woods. Here's a lovely contemporary sculpture. It represents Francis and a little boy. The story is he met them at market. He met the boy at market. In the boy's hat he had doves, which his mother had sent him to the market to sell for meat. And Francis said, what are you doing with these beautiful birds? And he said, well, I will sell them. And Francis said, allow them to go free, to fly off and praise the Lord as he would wish. Would wish. And the little boy set the dove free. Magnificent sculptural trio. We have three friars here. And it's a bronze, in, done in bronze. And here, on the ground is Francis admiring the beauty of the heavens. 
and you can see how his tunic is done sort of in the shape of a crescent moon. His sandals are off. And near him are two of, of his followers. And the two followers are Ginebro and Frate Leone, Brother Leo. And it is said that Ginepro is simply admiring the firmament for its beauty. He was a very simple friar. Leone is calculating the distance in the stars of the Big Dipper. And he's taken an intellectual approach. And Francis said something like this. This is not a direct quote. Whether you admire the wonder of creation through simply your spirit and heart, or through your mind and intellect, what's important is to admire the beauty of all of creation. We'll end our visit here at the Hermitage, at the altar of the Tau, the Cross of Francis. It was last letter in medieval Hebrew. It's called the Cross of Salvation. It's how Francis always signed. Instead of his name, he signed with a Tau. It is mentioned in the book of Ezekiel. And at one time, this was an altar used by groups for masses right out here in the midst of all the live oak trees, which we see all around us. And now it is called the altar of the Tau, but masses are not permitted here. So before we leave, let's have a look at the beauty of the Hermitage. And may you soon come to see this magnificent place of retreat of Francis in the woods on the slopes of Mount Subasio. Don't miss the Hermitage when you're visiting Assisi.